not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not. You're not going to keep procrastinating. I need you. You're not. I am one decision away from a totally different marriage, a totally different life, a totally different job, a totally different income. Your life comes down to your decisions, and if you change your decisions, you will change everything. Where you want to be in life, and listen to me, at some point in life, you just, you have to tell yourself, because you don't make the adjustment, you don't make the shift in life, until you get to the point where you say enough is enough, and listen to me, you deserve better. Here's what you should know about winning before you chase it. Winning's not loyal to you. It doesn't care about you. Winning doesn't care how sore you are. Winning doesn't care how much sleep you get. Winning doesn't care how hard you work at times. Winning requires all of you and then more, and it promises you nothing. It's a mastermind of creating fear and doubt in your mind. It causes setback after setback. So the question is about winning. Are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? And why chase this thing called winning? Because the only thing that's guaranteed in life if you don't chase it is losing. It's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving for greatness and starving for success. I know what it's like to operate every single day, regardless of the success that I've been a lucky son of a bitch to achieve, I operate every day as if I'm starving. Self-confidence is really someone who keeps promises of themselves because self-confidence is really like your reputation with yourself. If you've got a great reputation with yourself and you know you can trust you, you're not so concerned about your reputation what other people think about you. But more importantly, I want you to be horrified, terrified of sitting on the sidelines and doing nothing. That is what I want you to be afraid of. Waking up in six days or six weeks or six years or 60 years and being no closer to your goal. You've made no progress. That is the horror. That is the nightmare. That is what you really need to be afraid of, being stagnant. So, get up and go. Take the risk, take the gamble, take the first step, take action. And don't let another day slip by. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up, expand yourself, take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. And what that shows is that if you turn around and you confront the suffering voluntarily, you find out that you are way tougher than you think. It's not that life is better than you think. Life is as harsh as you think. It might even be worse. But you are way tougher than you think if you turn around and confront it. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. The hard choices 
what we most fear doing, asking, saying. These are very often exactly what we most need to do. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. Stop telling your visions to other people because they're not going to see it. Why you think you keep imagining opening a business? Why you keep imagining graduating, getting a better job? Why do you keep imagining buying a house? Why do you keep imagining getting rich one day? Why do you keep imagining that? Because God is talking to you. He's showing you something that he has for you. It's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay, don't be, all this stuff people say, you gotta be balanced. To be the best in the world, at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. And it takes being obsessed to where people think you're crazy. Let's go. Let's go. You got money, but do you got that dog? Yeah, you got money, you got print, but do you got that dog? You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. When God gives you a dream, and I believe that we all have a dream, that God has given each one of us something that's beyond us, and hope and aspiration that makes us look beyond. And sometimes the dream is so big it scares us, but it should inspire us to believe that we can only do it with God's help. The dream is your dream. And sometimes we make a mistake of wanting to share our dreams with everybody. Dreams can get you in trouble. You have dream busters. There's people who don't have a dream and they will try and help bring down your dream. God gave your dream to you. And everything that God gives you, God intends for you to achieve and accomplish. Don't have time to regret. We move on because we are acceptable for what we are, not what we think we should be. I'm accepted in myself by what I am, but not as I think I should be because that's a lie. I'm a sinner, I'm an old sinner. I've done some bad things, I've done some good things. So, you know, you just forgive yourself and move on. These people that you're comparing yourself to, you don't really know. You see their shiny outside, but you don't see the reality of their life. People have hard lives, and the ideal that you're observing that makes you jealous and resentful is in large part an illusion that's created by your own mind. Don't give up. Don't let the world get you down. When it does get you down, get up and write what you want out of your life and don't fucking stop. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no vacation. You get up every fucking day, you look in the mirror, you tell that mirror, I'm a bad motherfucker. And one way or another, I'm gonna make it fucking happen today. And guess what? If you keep writing it down after a while, the power of the pen, you'll fucking believe it. If you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. Just stand, you keep standing. You keep standing, no matter how rough the sea, you keep standing, and I'm not talking about just water. You keep standing, no matter what, you don't give up. Don't allow the
difficult and challenging time.